In this episode, we are going to solve example two on the inverse of a matrix. So now, the question, find the inverse of A such that the matrix A is given by this element, one, two, two, one, two, negative one, negative one, one, and four. So this is our matrix and we have to find the inverse of its solution. Now, we are going to use, so we are restricted using the cofactor and the determinant approach. Using the cofactor and the determinant approach. Let's try and see. With that, our A inverse is going to obey this formula, which says one, on the determinant of A, multiplying the adjoint matrix A. Are we okay? So with matrix A, let's first try to find the determinant of the matrix. Are we good? So if I'm going to find the determinant of the matrix, I'm going to compare this matrix to this sign notation, positive, negative, positive, and this way are we okay so now my delta of a is going to i'm going to choose any of the row to do my analysis or the columns to do my analysis i prefer using column two for the analysis so i'm going to select this two and from the sign notation it is negative so that is going to start a negative two and the two by two matrix left will be one negative one negative one and four. And I'll go to the second two, which is from sign notation positive. So positive two and the sub matrix is going to be one and two, negative one and four. So one and two, negative one and four. To the last part, which is negative, so negative one. Multiplying the sub matrix is one, two, one, negative one. And with this, the determinant, we are going to get this negative two multiplying four minus one and positive two multiplying four minus minus two. Here, negative one by negative one minus and the determinant of matrix A from here is going to be 9. That's the determinant of matrix A. We are getting 9 for that. Are we good? So we are to now find the cofactor matrix and transpose it to get our adjoint of the matrix A. Are we good? So now we are going to find the cofactor matrix from this matrix. What do we do? We are also going to use, so now for the cofactor matrix, the cofactor matrix from this. Let's also consider the sign notation again plus, negative plus, negative plus, and negative. Positive, negative, positive here using the cofactor. It's very straightforward. So the cofactor is going to be equal to a very large matrix this way. So the first point, when you close the one, you are going to get this sub matrix as two, negative one, one, and four. Now the second part, which is negative, is going to give us matrix one. Choose this to one and negative one, negative one and four. The third part is going to give us matrix one and two, negative one and one for that. So the second row that is also going to give us negative here and the sub matrix will be two and two, one, and four. This part is going to give us one, two, 
negative 1 and 4. This is a negative, and we are going to get, at this point, we are going to get 1 and 2, negative 1 and 1. 1 and 2, negative 1 and 1. The last rule, this is going to give us 2 and 2, 2 negative 1. This is negative 1 and 2, 1 and negative 1. This part is also going to give us 1 and 2, 1 and 2. So this is what we are getting. This is what we are getting. So now we can find the determinant for each of them and get our cofactor matrix. So now when you find the determinant from this two by two matrix, you are going to get nine. From here, you are going to get the matrix as negative three. And here, the determinant as positive three. This is going to be negative six. This is six, negative three. Same here, negative 6, positive 3, and 0 here. So this matrix is the cofactor matrix of A. Now the adjoint matrix. Adjoint matrix A. We know that the adjoint matrix is the transposed of the matrix. So the adjoint of A is going to be equal to. Now if I transpose this matrix, this is going to give me 9, negative 6, negative 6, negative 3 here, 6 here, and positive 3. This is going to be positive 3, negative 3, and 0 at this point. Are we okay? So this is the adjoint matrix. We have our adjoint matrix. We have our determinant. So now we can obey the formula as 1 over the determinant multiplying the adjoint matrix and we can find the inverse so simple are we good so let's try the inverse to a new page the inverse of the matrix a inverse which is one on the determinant of a multiplying the adjoint matrix a which is going to be one on our determinant is nine, multiplying the adjoint matrix. And the adjoint matrix is nine, negative six, negative six, negative three, six, positive three. And we are having three, negative three, and zero. So now if you multiply this through, you are going to get your inverse matrix. You can choose to leave it this way, but that's not a simplified version. If you want to multiply it through, you are going to get the matrix this way. This will be 9 on 9, negative 6 on 9, negative 6 on 9, negative 3 on 9, 6 again on 9. 3 on 9 by this. So this is what you are going to get for the matrix. And you can further reduce this again to get this matrix out of it. This will give us 1 and this is going to give us negative 2 on 3, negative 2 on Three. Again, here we are going to get negative 1 on 3, 2 on 3, and 1 on 3. Very simple, 1 on 3, negative 1 on 3, and 0. So this is the inverse matrix. Further, you can reduce this if you want to bring, make this a perfect one. You can bring 1 on 3 outside and the matrix will be 3, negative 2, negative 2, negative 1, 2, 1, 1, negative 1, and 0. So this is the inverse of A. Are we okay? Using the formula. So this is the second example 
if solved on the inverse using the cofactor and the determinant approach. In the next episode, we are going to try a different approach for finding the inverse of a 3x3 three three matrix. Thank you for watching this episode. Kindly subscribe to the channel for more mathematics and other engineering problems solution. Subscribe and share the video.